Hey, fellas, y'all set for some paintball? You bet. God, Joe, finally! Is your watch paralyzed, too? Guys, I don't think I can make it today. It's looking like Bonnie might go into labor any minute, so I think I should stick close to home. It's your fault for knocking her up. That's why I always use a condom. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I can't even say that with a straight face. Sorry, fellas. Have a good time. Man, I am so sick of this. Joe is just going to keep bailing on us until that baby comes out of Bonnie's butt. Babies come out of the butt, right? Yeah. Well, we are going to do something about it. We are going to figure out a way to induce labor and make Barney have that baby. Yeah, the sooner that kid comes out, the sooner we get Joe back. Yeah, we're not complete without Joe. You remember when he bailed on us for that trip to the spa and we had to find another handicapped guy? God, Seamus, I've, uh, never seen you this naked. Ah, it's good to let the old midsection breathe. What, uh, how the hell are you alive? How are you? Never mind that, Barney. I'm here to induce birth. Follow me. Now, I'm going to put the TV remote down by your feet, and I'm going to turn on two and a half men. If your baby isn't totally brain dead, it'll come rushing out to change a channel. And when he does, I'll grab his hand and yank him out of there. Peter, I don't think... Shh, it's Daddy. Two and a half men was filmed in front of a live ostrich. Boy, this stinks. It's Friday night, and I don't have a date. Well, then, let me get you a number from my little black book. <laughs> Guys, Bonnie's going into labor! We gotta get her to the hospital! Quick, Peter, get the car! No way! I don't want pregnant mess in my back seat! Oh, come on. You're the guy who soiled his pants while test driving that sports car. I don't want it. All right, Mrs. Swanson, you're doing fine. Hey, Peter, don't you want to watch this? It's a beautiful miracle of nature. I, I can't look. I didn't look when Lois gave birth, and I can't look now. You could just tell me what it looks like. You ever see a horse blink his eye? Okay, Mrs. Swanson, you're almost there. Push! Push! Get out of there! Get the hell out of my wife, you little bastard! <laughs> okay, here we go. Hold on, the wheelchair is coming first. And here's the baby. <laughs> Congratulations, Mrs. Swanson. It's a beautiful baby girl. Oh, Bonnie, I'm so happy for you. Oh, my God, she's dying. What? Oh, sorry, I was watching this Paula Poundstone comedy special. Here's your baby. She's beautiful. Isn't she, sweetheart? She sure is, Joe. It's hard to believe she's already 18. Attention, everyone. This is a twist tie. It comes with every loaf of bread. When we are done selecting our piece of bread, we use the tie to preserve... Oh, my God! Who is that angel? That's Susie Swanson. You don't say. What, like you think you have a shot with her? Are you kidding? We'll go together better than Hannity and Combs. My problem with liberals, Alan, is that liberals hate America. Sean, I don't know if that's true. You just contradicted me. You hate America. If I could just get a word in. You hate America. You like the terrorists. Well, I guess you're right again. Bonnie, we got a problem. What's the matter, Joe? I'll tell you while we're doing the diaper change. Here's the reality of the situation. I got her hospital bill this morning. How bad is it? It's $20,000. Oh, my God. Where are we going to get that kind of money? I don't know, but we got to figure that out soon. Well, I'm not worried, Joe. You'll think of something. I got to tell you, not being able to pay my child's hospital bill somehow makes me feel like less of a man. Oh, honey, that's silly. I'm going to show you what a man you really are. Now, let's go put your penis on. Thank <laughs> you.